faces is a bound bundle of wooden rods, sometimes including an axe with its blade emerging. The faces had its origin in the Etruscan civilization, and was passed on to ancient Rome, where it symbolized a magistrate's power and jurisdiction. The image has survived as a representation of magisterial or collective power. Faces frequently occurs as a charge in heraldry, as well as on the U.S. dime, as the symbol of a number of Italian socialist parties, including the Union Syndicale Italiana, and the namesake of fascism. It should not be confused with the related term, fes, which in French heraldry is called a face. Origin and symbolism, although little is known about the Etruscans, a few artifacts have been found showing a thin bundle of rods surrounding a two-headed axe. Faces symbolism might revere Euro via the Etruscanza Euro from the eastern Mediterranean, with the laborers, the Anatolian and Minoan double-headed axe, later incorporated into the praetorial faces. There is little archaeological evidence. By the time of the Roman Republic, the faces had evolved into a thicker bundle of birch rods, sometimes surrounding a single-headed axe and tied together with a red leather ribbon into a cylinder. On certain special occasions, the faces might be decorated with a laurel wreath. The symbolism of the faces suggested strength through unity. A single rod is easily broken, while the bundle is very difficult to break. The axe represented the power over life or death through the death penalty, although after the laws of the Twelve Tables, no Roman magistrate could summarily execute a Roman citizen. Republican Rome, the faces literally symbolized power and authority in ancient Rome, beginning with the early Roman kingdom and continuing through the Republican and Imperial periods. By Republican times, use of the faces was surrounded with tradition and protocol. A corps of apparitors called lictors each carried faces before a magistrate, in a number corresponding to his rank. Lictors preceded consuls, praetors, dictators, corula deals, caestas and the flamen dialis during Roman triumphs. Roman historians recalled that twelve lictors had ceremoniously accompanied the Etruscan kings of Rome in the distant past, and sought to account for the number and to provide etymologies for the name lictor. The highest magistrate, the dictator, was entitled to twenty-four lictors and faces, the consul to twelve, the proconsul eleven, the praetor to six, the proprietor five, and the corula deals two. Another part of the symbolism developed in Republican Rome was the inclusion of a single-headed axe in the faces, with the blade projecting from the bundle. The axe indicated that the magistrate's judicial powers included capital punishment. Faces carried within the Fumirium a Euro the boundary of the sacred inner city of Rome a Euro had their axe blades removed. Within the city, the power of life and death rested with the people through their assemblies. However, during times of emergency, the Roman Republic might choose a dictator to lead for a limited time period, who was the only magistrate to be granted capital punishment authority within the Fumirium. Lictors attending the dictator kept the axes in their faces even inside the Fumirium a euro a sign that the dictator had the ultimate power in his own hands. There were exceptions to this rule, in 48 BC, guards holding bladed faces guided Vaishelisauricus to the tribunal of Marcus Caelius and Vaishelisauricus used one to destroy Caelius's magisterial chair. An occasional variation on the faces was the addition of a laurel wreath, symbolizing victory. This occurred during the celebration of a triumph, essentially a victory parade through Rome by a returning victorious general. All Republican Roman commanding generals have previously held high office with Imperium, and so were already entitled to the lictors and faces. Usage the term is related to the modern Italian word fascio, used in the 20th century to designate peasant cooperatives and industrial workers' unions. Numerous governments and other authorities have used the image of the faces for a symbol of power since the end of the Roman Empire. It has also been used to harken back to the Roman Republic, particularly by those who see themselves as modern-day successors to the old Republic and or its ideals. Italian fascism which derives its name from the faces, arguably used this symbolism the most in the 20th century. The British Union of Fascists also used it in the 1930s. However, the faces, as a widespread and long-established symbol in the West, has avoided the stigma associated with much of fascist symbolism, and many authorities continue to display them, 
including the federal government of the United States. Bases in the United States Several offices and institutions in the United States have incorporated representations of the faces into their iconography. In the Oval Office, above the door leading to the exterior walkway, and above the corresponding door on the opposite wall, which leads to the President's private office. Note, the faces depicted have no axes, possibly because in the Roman Republic, the blade was always removed from the bundle whenever the faces were carried inside the city, in order to symbolize the rights of citizens against arbitrary state power. Two faces appear on either side of the flag of the United States behind the podium in the United States House of Representatives. The official seal of the United States Senate has as one component a pair of crossed faces. Faces ring the base of the Statue of Freedom atop the United States Capitol Building. A frieze on the façade of the United States Supreme Court building depicts the figure of a Roman centurion holding a faces, to represent order. The Grand Seal of Harvard University inside Memorial Church is flanked by two inward-pointing faces. The seal is located directly below the 112 a.m. steeple and the Great Seal of the United States inside the Memorial Room. The walls of the room list the names of Harvard students, faculty and alumni that gave their lives in service of the United States during World War I along with an empty tomb depicting Alma Mater holding a slain Harvard student. The National Guard uses the faces on the seal of the National Guard Bureau, and it appears in the insignia of regular army officers assigned to National Guard liaison and in the insignia and unit symbols of National Guard units themselves. For instance, the regimental crest of the 71st Infantry Regiment of the New York National Guard consisted of a gold face is set on a blue background. The mace of the United States House of Representatives, designed to resemble faces, consists of 13 ebony rods bound together in the same fashion as the faces, topped by a silver eagle on a globe. The main entrance hallways in the Wisconsin State Capitol have lamps which are decorated with stone faces motifs. At the Lincoln Memorial, Lincoln's seat of state bears the facies a euro without axes a euro on the fronts of its arms. Faces also appear on the pylons flanking the main staircase leading into the memorial. The official seal of the United States Tax Court bears the faces at its center. Four faces flank the two bronze plaques on either side of the bust of Lincoln memorializing his Gettysburg address at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. The faces appears on the state seal of Colorado, U.S beneath the all-seeing eye, and above the mountains and mines. The hallmark of the Kerr and Company Silver Company was a faces. On the seal of the New York City Borough of Brooklyn, a figure carries a faces. The seal appears on the borough flag. Faces can also be seen in the stone columns at Grand Army Plaza. Used as part of the Knights of Columbus emblem. Many local police departments use the faces as part of their badges and other symbols. For instance, the top border of the Los Angeles Police Department badge features a faces. Commercially, a small faces appeared at the top of one of the insignia of the Hupmobile car. A faces appears on the statue of George Washington, made by Jean Antoine Houdon which is now in the Virginia State Capitol. Columns in the form of faces lie in the entrance to Buffalo City Hall. BAW-116 have a faces on their unit insignia. San Francisco's Quiet Tower has two faces like insignia carved above its entrance, flanking a phoenix. The seal of the United States Court's administrative office includes a faces behind crossed quill and scroll. In the Washington Monument, there is a statue of George Washington leaning on a faces. A faces is a common element in U.S. Army military police heraldry, most visibly on the shoulder sleeve insignia of the 18th Military Police Brigade and the 42nd Military Police Brigade. Two monuments erected in Chicago at the time of the Century of Progress Exposition are adorned with faces. The monument to Christopher Columbus in Grant Park has them on the ends of its exedra. The Bulbo Monument in Burnham Park, a gift from Benito Mussolini, has the vandalized remains of faces on all four corners of its plinth. Faces in France. A review of the images included in Le Grand's Palais de France Fontainebleau reveals that French architects used the Roman faces as a decorative device as early as the reign of Louis XIII and continued to employ it through the periods of Napoleon I's empire. 
the faces typically appeared in a context reminiscent of the Roman Republic and or of the Roman Empire. The French Revolution has used many references to the ancient Roman Republic in its imagery. During the First Republic, topped by the Phrygian cap, the faces is a tribute to the Roman Republic and means that power belongs to the people. It also symbolizes the unity and indivisibility of the Republic, as stated in the French Constitution. In 1848 and after 1870, it appears on the seal of the French Republic, held by liberty. There is the faces in the arms of the French Republic with the RF for our copyright public for a section as, surrounded by leaves of olive tree and oak. While it is widely used by French officials, this symbol never was officially adopted by the government. The faces appears on the helmet and the buckle insignia of the French Army's Autonomous Corps of Military Justice, as well as on that service's distinct cap badges for the prosecuting and defending lawyers in a court-martial. Other modern authorities and movements, Benito Mussolini's tomb is flanked by marble faces. The following cases all involve the adoption of the faces as a symbol or icon. No actual physical reintroduction has occurred. Aguillettes worn by aide de camp and many Commonwealth armed forces bear the faces on the metal points. The origin of this is unknown, as the faces is an uncommon symbol in British Commonwealth heraldry and insignia. Napoleon and the French Revolution This emblem remains on the front cover of French passports and is part of the French coat of arms. The badge of the Spanish Gendarmerie Guardia Civil includes a faces. Both the Norwegian and Swedish police service have double faces in their logos. The miners' flag, the standard of 19th century gold miners in the colony of Victoria, in Australia, included the faces as a symbol of unity and strength of common purpose. This flag symbolized the movement prior to the rebellion at the Eureka Stockade. The coat of arms of Ecuador, which also features on its national flag, has included a faces since 1822. The coat of arms of Cameroon features two faces which form a diagonal cross. The coat of arms of Cuba features a faces. The third flag of Gran Colombia, a former nation in South America, depicted a large faces entwined with several arrows. The coat of arms of Norte de Santander, a department of Colombia, and of its capital Calcuta, both feature a faces. The grand coat of arms of Vilnius, Lithuania features a faces. The crests of many collegiate fraternities and sororities feature the faces, including those of Chi Phi, Alpha Phi Delta, Sigma Alpha Mu, and Psi Upsilon. The symbol of the National Party includes a faces. On the entrance of the Royal Palace of Laken in Belgium, the British Union of Fascists originally used the faces on their flag until adopting the flash and circle. Sources: Tassi Scandonelena, Verfi, Scuri e Fasi Literary in Etruria, Contributo allo Studio di Gli Insignia Inferior. Volume N. 36 della Biblioteca di Studi e Trui della Stituto Nazionale di Studi e Trui e Detalici. Istituti Editoriali e Polygraphici Internazionali, Pisa, Roma, 2001. ISBN 88-8147-263-5. PPA 272-com7TAVV. FT. Salvatore Pela S. La Euro Unregistered Trademark Adosian del Facio Littorio nella Monetazione della Euro Unregistered Trademark Italia Fascista. In a Rivista Italiana di Numismatica e Scienza Finia, CIX, 2008, PPA 333 Euro 352. See also, Faggot, Fasign, Facio, Ferula, Francisca, Laborers, Staff of Office, Fascism, Notes. External links, A Definition, Livius.org, Faces, Faces on Flags, The Faces as Ancient Roman Icon, 1.